Okay, I've just um, replaced the oil. Uh, the manual says um, 12 liters. I put in 10, took out 10, put in probably a little less than 10. But the dipstick shows that the oil is a little high. So I'm going to fire up the engine, run it for 30 seconds or so, and um, check the oil again. I think it's actually going to tell me to add some. Um, but this is a 19, I guess it was installed in 66, um, six cylinder Volvo diesel. And I've got a shaky camera because I got to get over this engine bay here. Oh, I guess I should have moved these books out before I started videoing. But yeah, there's the, the manual that I'm going by. Um, it's a little, little beat up. <laughs> And um, my notes, so filters and um, things like that that I've ascertained, uh, like replacement parts, they're not the same as the original. The part numbers have all changed. Oh boy. Okay. Well, it's already about that in the video, but uh, there we go. We're going to get into the instruments here. And um, let's accept that so we get our, our gauges. So I um, engage the start battery. And then I just push this to the left to start it, push it to the right to stop it. And in the middle it's running. I'm going to give it a little throttle. There you go. Right up, runs good. Looks like uh, engine oil pressure is bouncing around a bit. Still trying to figure the pressure out. Um, and the coolant temperature, of course, is way down. It's idling at 330. According to the manual, it should idle about 550, but it's not calibrated. So 330 probably is 550. And um, I'm going to get exhaust fumes in the boathouse, so I'll have to turn this off. And, yeah, we'll see what the uh, level's like now.